Hey guys, it's Roland from Red Moto. So today we're going to be working on this 2011 Ford Focus front bumper removal and installation. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And if you guys need this bumper for your vehicle, the link is down below and up above. And it already comes painted to match your vehicle, ready to install with the help of this video. And also, best of all, it goes shipped straight to your door. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, to get this bump bumper removed, we actually had to take off the headlight. So let's go ahead and pop that hood open. All right, so if you guys look in here, you guys are gonna see a bolt right here. So it's gonna be a T25, or as you guys can see, you can use a flathead also. So let's zoom in a little bit closer. You can also use a flathead on there. There's gonna be one right there, and if you guys go on top, you'll see another one right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take that off. So for me, I got a T25. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that off with that one. And let me show you guys what a T25 looks like right there and, and again you guys don't need a t25 on this one you can use like a flathead also as you guys can see take this one off right here all right guys so if you guys go over here just pull up on here just like that so once this thing is this large right here go ahead and move the move the headlight out as you guys can see it's really easy to take off and then you guys come here and take off this uh this wire harness right here let's see how you take it off you should just be able to push down on it so sometimes it's like really uh on there so as you guys can you hear that click uh, let's see here okay so this one's a little bit really brittle right here and it's stuck on there so what I did is just wedged my fly head on there so you guys come right here I got a fly head like this one right here and just kind of wedge it down here and then push down on it just like that and it comes out so just go ahead and do that on the other side also all right guys so there's gonna be like a little T25's uh, screws right there along the fender liner. So we're gonna go ahead and move the, we're gonna rotate the wheel that way so we can get into those, uh, into those little bolts that's right here. And I believe there's one right here also. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, rotate this wheel. So you guys can see right here, it's gonna be a T25 right there. And if you guys just follow that up, oh, right behind there, it's kind of hard to see. Right there is another T25. So there's going to be two of them, just like that one right there. All right, if you guys have one of these, it's a panel removal tool. But if you guys have a flathead, that will work also. Because right here, it's going to be hard to see, but right here, there's going to be a clip. It's going to be a push pin. So let me show you guys how to take that off. So it looks like this right here. And all you do is with a fly head, you go ahead and pry up on here like that. And you kind of have to rotate. But if you guys have one of these, just go ahead and pry it open and then pull this down. Sometimes like this whole thing comes out the top part like this and then you stuck with this one So just go ahead and get a flathead and pry it down like this So go ahead and do the same exact thing that you guys did on this side on the other side All right guys remember those uh, same exact push pins that you guys got on the side like these ones right here those ones right there on the bottom 
there's like four of them I believe you guys can see right here it can be one right there one over here but this one's missing this one right here in the middle and then towards the bottom right there and all the way right there and then another one on the side of the bumper so go ahead and take those off so you have one on the side one right here one right here one right here another one right here and another one on the side all right guys you see this thing right here this is going to be your cable it's going to go ahead and pry up on it and then twist it out so just like that so let me demonstrate that again so all i, all I did was unhook it from this uh this little clip right here and it's clipped on right there and then it's clipped on right here but once you unclip it you guys see like right there you see it kind of wraps around this thing to unhook it you kind of just slide it over and then it uh, pulls out and it's just held on by this little end piece right here okay so go ahead and put that to the side all right guys so you guys gonna have the same exact push pins this thing's made out of all push pins go ahead and take this out right here Remember, find that slit like that. Oh, okay. I guess you don't have to take this off. This cover holds this little clip right here. All right. So the last thing, if you go right here, there's going to be another T25. Go ahead and take that off. Same thing on the other side. Hmm. So this bracket right here is broken. Alright guys, so we're going to go to the side of the bumper right here. And we're just going to pull on the side. So get your finger right here. And pop that open like that. Okay. So do that on the other side also. And then once those sides are popped out, go right here. So you're gonna have to release this clip right there. There's a clip right there. You saw I just used a uh, flat object and released it. You can do the same exact thing on the other side. All right, so now you can go ahead and pull this bumper off. So pull it down gently because remember you have these wires over here. I'm gonna go ahead and unclip it. And the reason why I said slowly pull it down because you have this clip right here that's attached to that. And remember, all you do is press down that uh, pin on the back and it'll release it. So on these accessories, it's just basically a bunch of just like uh, uh, clips. You just pull like that to release them. Just going to follow the clips right here. And I'm just using uh, like a flat object right here. Basically, this thing is like destroyed already right here. So, let's have a seat. This whole thing is broken.
All right, guys, so here's a brand new bumper right here. Again, if you guys need this bumper for your vehicle, go to redmoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. And let's go ahead and get all the accessories installed and we're gonna go ahead and get ready to install this bumper in the actual vehicle. All right, guys, once the, all the accessories put back into place, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this bumper on. So again, just line up the top first. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and clip on this side right here, just like that. So on this side right here, I'm going to go ahead and clip that. So this thing dropped, but I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And then clip this wire on right here. So one thing I'm going to look at is underneath to make sure the fender liner is in the right place. So basically... So the fender, the, uh, the bottom shield should be on top of the bumper. So we're going to go ahead and clip on this bumper right here. go all right guys so now we're gonna go ahead and clip that on right there so just go ahead and lift it up and it should line up with the uh, bracket right here so once that's lined up go ahead and push down and it should just go down smoothly just like that and I'm gonna go ahead and put those bolts on the side on so now all we're doing is reversing what we did before. So again, there's going to be a pin right here, this push pin. It's going to be right here, so you can probably pull the fender liner back a little bit. So all I did was put the bottom in, and then the top piece. So I gotta go in here and kind of take a look at it. So an easy way to do this is like actually put the top on there just like that and then put this in here pushing this back there we go and then push that bot top piece all right there we go let me just double check make sure it clipped in there we go so again, fender liner needs to go back like this. So I gotta put this one back in. All right, so as you guys can see, the fender should just line up, I mean the fender line should line up with the hole so if it doesn't, that means like the underneath the uh, engine splash guard is actually not on top of the bumper. So once it's on top of the bumper, it should line up just like, like that. So remember you have two of them, one right here. And no one right here. All right. So go ahead and uh, tighten those up. All right, guys. So do the same thing you did over here on the other side. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the top part right here. So this one got misaligned and line it back up. So again, we're going to go ahead and put these pins right here in place. Remember right here, I'm going to go ahead and put this line back in there. 
put this back right here and then go ahead and so I pulled it a little bit so I can get some leverage put it in there wrap it around and then put this right there so there you go so that one works good so we're gonna go to the side right here so there's a bolt So now guys, remember you got to put the bolt in this one right here. So go ahead and put that in. And put the other one on the other side also. Alright guys, so now we're going to go ahead and put the uh, push pins on the bottom right here. So there's going to be four of them. Actually one, two, three, four, five, six of them. I'm going to go ahead and put those headlights in place. Alright, so do the same exact thing that you guys did over here on the other side. Alright guys, so that's how you remove and install a 2011 Ford Focus front bumper. If you guys have any questions, comment down below and I'll go ahead and answer all those questions for you. Thank you guys for watching.